Hi folks, thank you for joining me. One of the most visually stunning fountain pens that you can own are pens that use a technique called rodden, uh, which is the inlaying of mother of pearl and abalone shell into a pen. And this has the pen in front of you is done by Mr. Cypress, a company uh, that makes a lot of different rodden models. Uh, this one has both abalone shell as well as eggshell. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but this might be quail eggshell. Uh, I can't be certain, but it's a beautiful combination of materials. And so uh, this pen uh, has a beautiful Yovo 18 karat gold nib. And some of you who've watched my videos know I've, I'm a particular to owls, and I have an owl that's been laser uh, etched onto that nib uh, by John Jonathan Brooks. And this is an EF nib, and it's filled with uh, my favorite Yamabuto ink. So I am going to just do a little writing demonstration here, not much, uh, just to give you an idea how this thing writes. Uh, I love the pen, and so I'm going to go ahead and make my usual design like this, and come up here, the R and Rodden, stop there. I could have gone around it completely, but sometimes I don't have the level of skill that someone like Michael Ward does. So I have to think carefully about where, where I'm going with my next stroke. So here we go. And so I'm going to go ahead then and get that piece of hair off there and write the word rotten with an A. I make my letters a little differently than a lot of people do. Write them in two parts. And as I pointed out in several of my videos, I also write slower than most. Uh, so what I do is more calligraphic penmanship, not true cursive penmanship. Uh, there are folks online that can do this stuff beautifully uh, with true cursive movement. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not one of them, but I get by. And sometimes you can embellish these letter forms as well. For example... Sometimes you can make this into almost a, well, it would actually be an ornamental lowercase d. And then simply fill this in. But careful not to apply too much pressure to the paper. You're essentially just pooling ink into areas. If you apply too much pressure, you're going to start digging up paper fiber. And there's the word rotten. And as you've seen me do many times, I'll put a little... Um, Rather than do another bird, I'll just go ahead and do my usual uh, flourish, which looks like this. You arc your, your hand around like this, lay it down, go ahead and make the bottom portion of the quill. The writing surface would be, or the writing point would be here. Go ahead and do the feather uh, aspect there. And then finally, I usually come around with a little bit of a curl there. And so that's a writing demonstration using my... Uh, <clears throat> Mr. Cypress, beautiful rod and fountain pen. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, and thank you for, uh, for tuning in. Until next time, bye-bye.